Hello you one and you two, it's Miss Fred Hawk. So this week you are writing a description about butterflies. Um, you watched the video of the Book of Butterflies. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. On Thursday, we did a bit of a butterfly hunt. I wonder if you got the same, you saw the same butterflies as I did in the video. I saw a peacock butterfly, a comma butterfly with its leopard-like uh, pattern, and a painted lady. I didn't see any of the other ones, like the orange-tipped butterfly, but that's fine. So, we already have our word bank. You would have done some yourself, found some exciting adjectives, some nouns, adverbs and verbs, and hopefully you've used my word bank and magpied some of your own. We're going to use those today to write our description of butterflies. So, in the description, I want to include expanded noun phrases, which means we're using adjectives, commas for a list, so that's where we have our commas, exciting adverbs, here they are, factual language, probably some of these nouns, and we've got a challenge, which is a metaphor. So, I've already written the title of my description, Butterflies, I've got a capital letter and I've underlined it. So, um, let me think of my first sentence. Um, I'm just going to keep it quite simple. Butterflies are, hmm, what are they? Let me maybe use an adjective. Are oh, stunning, I like that word, stunning creatures. I think I might use an adverb here saying how to say how stunning. I like this one here, incredibly. Another word for very. Let me read my sentence. Butterflies are incredibly stunning creatures. Great, I've already used an adverb. My sentence makes sense and I've got my punctuation. Right. Um, I'm just going to carry on introducing butterflies and I now know there are lots of different types um, and I might list the different types of butterflies I now know. So there are many different types of butterflies like the let me go back to my sheet. Oh, it's this one here. I know the name of that one. It was the peacock butterfly. Peacock. And it's a name, so it's going to start with a capital letter. Like the peacock. What's my list going to be? Peacock. Comma. That was another one. Comma. Butterfly. Painted lady. And... The orange tipped ah, okay, let me read the sentence. There are many different types of butterflies, like the peacock, comma, painted lady, and orange tipped. Okay, next sentence. These I know one of uh, one of the main facts about butterflies is how fragile they are. Fragile, delicate, because they are they are quite small. Why are they fragile? Mostly because of their wings. So these insects, that's a noun, one of my factual bits of language, the fact they're an insect. These insects are well known for being fragile. Mm, how fragile. Ah, I'm going to use the adverb extremely. Mm, but actually, they, even though they're fragile, they're pretty, how do they move? They are swift movers. Swift movers. And I might include now a metaphor. What are they? They remind me of a machine. They're so good at flying. They remind me of machines. I could call them a flying machine. And flying machines. They're not actually flying machines, but that makes me 
think about how good they are at flying the fact that they're a machine and that would be my metaphor my challenge i've already done that let me read my sentence these insects are well known missing letter well known for being extremely fragile but swift movers oh my but they are swift movers and flying machines great okay um i'm going to talk about their appearance now the colors i can see on their wings some are particularly bright and that was that word vivid but some are not so most colorful butterflies are I might say they're spectacular. How spectacular? Particularly, particularly spectacular. That's an adverb. Why? So I'm going to say why they're spectacular and use. A conjunction because because of their vivid oh I could have a nice expanded noun vivid something wings vivid bright vivid glamorous vivid attractive oh i like that vivid attractive wings let's read the sentence the most colorful butterflies are particularly spectacular because of their vivid attractive wings okay i think i might have one more sentence and i'm going to talk about the butterflies that aren't so bright but they do have those lovely patterns i can see this has got like a um, brown with an orange dot so, other butterflies can have a dull, that means, oh, that was on my word bank, dull, um, dull can have more dull, what the word, striped or spotted, dull, spotted patterns covering them why do they have that hmm i thought the word camouflage and i know that and that i know that sometimes animals are not very bright because they don't want to be seen so why do they have this why do they more dull and have patterns this is so they can remain camouflaged how camouflaged can remain totally camouflaged i don't i find that word tricky but i'm going to look back to my word bank to help me they can remain totally camouflaged i'm gonna have one little sentence to kind of finish off butterflies You can see lots of butterflies in the summer. Okay, now we're going to read through what we've written and we're going to use our colours to see where we've met the steps to success. So, butterflies are incredibly stunning creatures. I've got a lovely adverb there. So, I'm going to put down that colour that was in orange. There are many different butterfly types of butterflies. Types of butterfly. Like the peacock, comma, painter lady, and the orange tip. That's my list because I've got commas to separate them. And with the last one, I've got the word and and no comma. That was my red. So I've got this one. I've got this one. I've got my adverb. Let's carry on. 
The insect, these insects are well known for being extremely fragile. Great adverb. But they are swift movers and flying machines. That's my metaphor. They're not really flying machines, but it makes me understand a bit more about how good they are at flying. The most colourful butterflies are particularly spectacular. Another lovely adverb. Because of their vivid, attractive wings. Vivid, attractive wings. That's my two adjectives to describe a noun. So that's my expanded noun phrase. That's in green. Other butterflies can have more dull, spotted patterns. Another great expanded noun. Covering them. This is so they can remain totally camouflages. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Camouflaged. Another lovely adverb. I don't think, maybe I don't need all four. I'm, I think maybe four adverbs would be too much. I'm going to take that one out. I can't be using them too much because otherwise it doesn't flow so well. This is so they can remain camouflaged. I like it. Simple sentence. You can see lots of butterflies in the summer. Nice exclamation mark. Okay, so the only thing I haven't ticked is factual language, but I know that camouflage is an important word that's to do with butterflies. So that is factual language. I also know the word insects. Insects is factual. Those, it's talking about things that are true. And I've also spoken about their wings. Um, and I've spoken about the different types. And I know those are true because I've seen that in that video when I've done my research. So I have included factual language for my steps to success. Right, so year two, you should have now done, you should now be writing your first part of your butterfly description. Tomorrow, we're going to write a bit more about butterflies. We're going to talk about how they move and more about the different parts of their body. I can't wait to see some of yours. Please send me some pictures of your writing.